Hello everyone, in our today's video, we're going to deploy our React Native e-commerce application which we built using Expo. As you can see, all the things is working perfectly fine. Our application is running super and is smooth. And if we didn't finish the project yet, I'm going to provide the link in the description. You can feel free to go back to the playlist and finish it entirely. And if you doesn't have the code, just uh, you can always be welcome to make the Git uh, to interlinked with that GitHub repository and you need to make sure to just uh, switch to final part where having all the code there just need to fill up the enba file and others the credential need to be there otherwise everything gonna work perfectly fine and you are good to go but if you want to build from this scratch you know i'm gonna provide the link to you so you can just do that and if you're watching with me please do like the video and subscribe the channel it will make me happy so how you can build this application so there is a two way we can do that so i'm gonna go and uh, explore both of that way first of all we can go with the native mode here as you can see in my expo i'm not having any android and ios directory especially if you're using the react native application you're gonna have the two directory right from the beginning right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and in just i'm gonna if i put ls i have two directory client app and server i'm gonna go cd into client app and over here i'm gonna run a simple command which is expo uh, i think it will go with the npx expo prevailed if i hit enter what it gonna do it gonna prevailed my entire application to in the beginning level so now as you can see it's uh, like pre-building whatever the things is need to be done you see i am having the android directory i'm having also the ios directory so both directory is working perfectly fine now i can build this application using xcode and also build using uh for the android studio i can now start building the native module so this is the one way you can work and i'm going to show you how you can do that for the android so let's just finish the formalities as you can see it's installing the the pulse so let's just give a little bit of time to do that i can also skip that as we can just go start building for the android and how you can build for android because for especially for ios you cannot test locally but you can provide the app for android anyone so if they can test that you can just need to go cd into android directory android and over there you can just go to gradle assemble release so what it gonna do it gonna prefetch the gradle version and then it gonna build that i'm also gonna skip that because my intention is not to do that part too why because as we are using the expo we can easily skip that we have a very very easy mechanism to especially build our application that's why we chose to go using expo and how we can export that especially if you go back here in the expo as you can see here you need to have to have one account and first of all if you doesn't have the account you can sign up and create your own account if you have like me you can just simply go and use your credential and then you can just go make logged in so i'm gonna log in in my account login and after login i should be able to preview my accounts and over here you can see i already have an account right already application is one project is there so i can view all the projects is available right here and especially you can go in the documentation and from here you can check the build projects for app stores and here as you can see to configure that build your project for app stores whether you have built a native app binary using es or locally the next step in your app development journey is to submit your app to the stores to do so you need to create a production build so this is the way we can go and style and make that production build with uh, coming with eas.json so you need to copy that file over here and in that root layer of that directory so i'm going to close all of that and over here i'm going to create a simple file which is going to say eas.json and over there i need to configure some of the setup first of all to make it customized and to do so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take an object and in that object i'm gonna just go to uh okay i'm gonna use that or i can just destructure right first of all i need to configure the build setup so it should be built and over here uh, i'm gonna define how the build is going to come so first of all i'm gonna build a preview just to test right so that it will be preview and in that preview module it can it can be i need to pass that the platform which is going to be let's say i'm gonna go with android android and over here i need to define the build type should be built and that should be type 
and over here i will just go with apk so that's the one which i want to build so this is the both way i can go either preview or i can go either production so i need to define both of the variation here so i can choose now which build or whatever the scenario i want to go and make th make the things done so first of all i'm gonna clear all of those things and here if you just see that i you need to have two setup first of all you need to initially you need to check like uh you need to make that in global npm install g expo cli so this is the command line you need note that uh, the new cli you can go also with the instead of at the rate you can directly go with the previous expo cli that's also gonna work fine and then you need to install another thing which is that eas cli so eas uh, cli so this the two things you need to have and to check that so first of all you can go with that expo login so expo login should be expo login and as you can see it's a legacy version but you are all i'm already logged in so i don't want to create any instance later on but what i can say if i have the es7 uh, like es install or not i can easily say es who am i so now you can say that i'm logged in within that account and also if i go back to my account here you can see that's the account which i am beholding so right now as i'm having my account i can now throw the production build how the things can be done to go through it so what we can do here eas build so p that dash p is the platform then provide that profile preview hit enter now it's gonna go and start the building process so as you can see okay this said would you like to automatically create an eas project for okay so if i want it or not i will go to automatically or you can also manually create the projects from here then you can interlink with that projects but i'll go automatically so it can be very easy okay no environment variables with visibility plain text okay uh okay nothing sensitive found so it can go directly there okay so now using remote android credentials generate a new android key store so i can go okay i will generate a new android key store create that key store okay now compressing now uploading now as you see there is no gradle configuration there is nothing at all it's pretty simple and pretty legit and we can just easily go through it and make the procedure done and every time you can make the CICD pipeline so every time you push something it automatically automatically can build and then go through the progress line so that's how it can configure so build in progress if build is successful I should be able to see it within here as you can see oh okay it's already started <laughs> okay that's now is uh, building in progress after finishing the building we should be able to get back our APK which we can circulate to the people so they can test our application it will take a bit of time to finish the build but the thing is that once the build gonna be done as you can see the shop card whitey you can just go inside of it now as you can see the build is running so now the download option is not yet here but you can simply download it and then you're good to go as you can see it's just having that build in progress so it's just building each and everything getting all the thing is done similar pattern of the way we are building that nexus application and other as you can see it can take a bit of time just to go run on that is running the gradle so now that's those after finishing that we can be able to just go and provide like uh, either you want to go an internal testing you can pass that and if you want to directly deploy especially for that and with a store for play store then you can just directly configure with the key store that's it now you can see it's already deployed and either i can go install and run that build on android emulator i will go say no and it's already done and now from here uh okay so uh, still so uh, just uh, getting uh circulating so i'm gonna just go and as you can see it's already done if i click here so now i will be having to get that you see that if i click on download so now after downloading i should be able to see one apk you can see here so this is the dot apk file is right there you can now install that one in any android devices and the same way it can work and perfectly do the trick the things which we do natively within uh, just uh, providing within the directory you can do that and also for the ios now you can again make the build type for ios then you can go with that 
that's really really fun you can just go and uh, predefine your ios devices and then it will work so let me know if you are con having any configuration issue a configuration issue or it cannot done properly let me know in the comments i will be jumping right on that and for further as i'm not gonna go with the distribution model so i didn't go to prefetch on that way it's just a test production build so i don't want to go and publish in my app store or play store so is if you are looking forwards uh, like uh, to having those kind of things like directly build and deploy let me know in the comments maybe in future i'm gonna try that so all the best uh to finish that project if you still doesn't have that clone from it and work with that all the best and hope i'm gonna see you in another next project which gonna be building for any other project either using expo or react native or nextjs or any other if you're having in mind any recommendation for any kind of app let me know in the comments i will be right jump on that so all the best i'm gonna see you in another video